Hi, everyone. My name is Ari Levy. I'm an intelligence analyst at CB Insights, where I cover emerging trends and technologies in fintech. Today, I wanted to talk to you for a couple of minutes about where big tech, that's Facebook, Google, Apple, and Amazon, are attacking financial services. And before we get into what they're doing specifically, let's talk about the why. Why is big tech interested in financial services at all? There we go. The first reason that I want to point to are just the revenue opportunities. If you think about financial services as a whole, they're huge markets with huge revenue pools, and the two areas in which big tech is moving into most immediately are payments and lending. And you can see here there's just trillions of dollars of opportunity. The second reason that I want to point to are the strengths that big tech has, and that's the scale of both merchants and consumers. They have the data on those merchants and consumers, and then they have the unique tech, machine learning, AI capabilities to make sense of all that information. And those are pretty unique strengths. And the third reason that I want to point to is that big tech are not playing by the same rules as incumbents. And what I mean by that is that they can monetize financial services data in ways that incumbents can't and don't have to worry as much about fees for revenue. OK, so that's the why. Now let's talk about the what. What are they doing now, and where could they go next? The first thing that I want to show you is just an overview of the space and an overview of key verticals within financial services, payments, wealth, insurance, and lending. And you can see that big tech has a presence in all of these. And over the course of this presentation, I'm going to show you that the areas in which they're focused the most are payments and lending. So let's go company by company now and talk about what each of these players are doing. First up is Facebook. And I think the key to understanding Facebook in terms of its financial services ambitions is to understand its scale. Facebook owns four of the top six biggest social networks in the world, and we all know what they are. Facebook, WhatsApp, Messenger, and Instagram. And now it's pushing payments and commerce to each of those social networks. So you have WhatsApp Pay and WhatsApp Business, payments and Messenger, and now Checkout and Instagram. And of course, we can't talk about Facebook without mentioning Facebook's cryptocurrency ambitions. And I'll caveat this slide by saying that it's certainly a moonshot, and there's tons of regulatory challenges and technical hurdles that have to be overcome. But the idea of, ha of having a single cryptocurrency or a stable cryptocurrency across all of Facebook's networks across the world uh, for billions of users is really something that uh, shouldn't be taken lightly and, and could have serious implications for the financial services industry. Coming back down to earth, let's talk about Amazon. And, you know, Amazon has lots of financial products for both merchants and consumers. They have insurance products, payments, lending. And the key point of these products is, is really quite simple. It's to drive e-commerce across Amazon's marketplaces. It's to allow more merchants to sell and more consumers to buy. And going one step deeper on Amazon, Amazon can then leverage the data it collects from, you know, more broadly its marketplaces, but also from the financial products it offers to underwrite, let's say, smarter loans for merchants or offer other financial products. So again, back to that data point and what big tech can do with that data. Next up is Apple. Of all the big tech companies, Apple is the only one that's really focused on hardware. And, you know, there's tons of iPhones in this room, even though I myself have an Android. We can talk about that later. Um, but there's nearly a billion active iPhone users worldwide, and over a third of those have enabled Apple Pay or activated Apple Pay. And why does that matter? Well, it matters because Apple is now launching the Apple Card. And what it can do with that Apple Card, once it's swiped and used at merchants, both online and in stores, one of the rewards of the Apple Card is to push instant cash back into Apple Pay. So in effect, the Apple Card is going to drive liquidity into Apple Pay, enabling payments between peers and also, more broadly, commerce across Apple's entire ecosystem. Last but certainly not least, we have Google. And the key thing to recognize with Google is just the scale of Android, its, its mobile operating system. Globally, 75% market share, and that's huge, especially in emerging markets. 
like India. In India, Google now is the largest mobile payments player, beating out PhonePay, beating out Paytm, and that's largely a result of the market share of Android. Okay, that's been a lot of information. Let's recap very quickly. So first, we discussed the why. Why is big tech interested in financial services at all? And the three reasons we gave were one, massive revenue pools, two, they have the strengths to win, and three, they're not playing by the same rules as incumbents. Then we discussed the what, and we looked at what each of these companies is doing in financial services. Now let's talk about how incumbents should respond, or how they should be thinking about all this information. I wanted to show this slide again just to highlight that there's really a lot of white space here. And you know, if you just think about where big tech is active, this is one way to think about it, but another way to think about it is over time. And if you look at their activity over time in terms of their partnerships, their products, their investments, their acquisitions, again, they're really focused on two areas, and that's payments and lending. And I think the reason why they're focused there, um, we'll get into both of these. But first, let's get into lending and discuss why big tech is focused on lending. And that's because lending allows big tech companies like Amazon to own the merchant relationship. And you can see here that today, there's more merchandise sold on Amazon by third parties than Amazon itself. And Amazon is a huge fan of this. They love this. You know, people talk about Amazon, or Amazon talks about itself and calls itself the most customer-centric company in the world, but I think they actually might be the most merchant-centric company in the world. And, you know, when you think about what they're doing for merchants, the lending they're providing, the other services they're, they're providing, it's all to own that relationship and ultimately to drive commerce across its marketplaces. And then payments. Let's go a step deeper there. Why, why payments? Why is big tech interested in, in this vertical? And I think the reason is because if you think about the network effects of payments specifically in terms of both consumers and merchants, every single consumer or merchant that joins a payment network that is active within a new network or a new rail exponentially increases the value of that network. And you can see here that big tech is really going after peer-to-peer -peer payments as a subset of payments overall. So you have Apple with Apple Cash and Apple Pay, you have Facebook with WhatsApp Pay, and then you have Google with Google Pay. And if there's one thing that I'd like you to take away from this presentation, it's that big tech are masters of human attention. They're masters of human attention, they're masters of network effects, they're masters of technology. And that, that is allowing them to assume the relationship with both consumers and merchants and take it away from incumbents. So that relationship, those relationships are being abstracted away and incumbents are ultimately in some sense, turning into the dumb pipes that simply process transactions um, on the back end. And of course, you can't talk about big tech without ending with this quote. And um, you know, there's no question that big tech has the scale, they have the capital, they have the talent, and you know, it, the pace of activity in financial services by big tech companies is really only going to increase and uh, your margin is most certainly their opportunity. So with that, I wanted to thank you for your time. If you'd like to learn more about these topics, you could find our research on our blog and on our website, or find myself or my colleagues in the Brella app. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of the conference.